What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to WWE 2K19 AI Universe Mode. This is Raw is War, week 39, coming to you from my hometown, Hotlanta, Georgia. Something feels different tonight, bigger than usual. Hey, our super and we are kicking up. off week 39 with tag Buckle team action. Have we have the, the former world it's tag Usos. team champions, Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso, the Usos, going up against Rick and Scott, the Steiner brothers. Get ready, people. Tag Team Warfare. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary! The following contest is a knockout match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 479 pounds, Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso. The Usos! And their opponents, at a combined weight of 556 pounds, Freakzilla Scott Steiner and the Gremlin Rick Steiner, the Steiner Brothers. And here we go. Tag team action, Jay Uso and Scott Steiner starting off for their respective teams in this one. The bell sounds and we are underway. And I believe this is the Uso's first match after finally losing the world tag team titles to the Rock and Roll Express. <clears throat> the Usos definitely have a chip on their shoulder and a point to prove. And Scott with the corkscrew forearm to the face. Dragging Jay over. And just, oh, that cocky kicks to the face by Scott. Setting up for something here. Neck snap by Big Papa Pump. Picking Jay up to his feet. <clears throat> into the turnbuckle in comes the dog face gremlin rick steiner and look at this tandem offense oh my god assisted shoulder block rick steiner flying out the sky looking like a rocket jawbreaker by jay shot to the spine rick face first off the top turnbuckle Oh, uh, throwing him to the... What is Jay looking for here? Oh, my God! Jesus! What power by Jay. He tossed... Rick's no small man. And Jay just tossed him just so high up in the air. But here comes Rick with the clothesline. Oh, chop to the chest, and Rick... Returning with a chop of his own. Oh, I think that was a glitch. I think that was the the that um 
Flapjack was the Usos tag team move because Jimmy's now legal. Okay. That still looked awesome though. Shot to the spine of Jimmy and these two teams are keeping this very slow pace so far. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks Picking the legs and the decapitator throat first across the bottom rope goes Jimmy Uso. Crawling for the tag to Jay. Rick not going to let that happen. Into the turnbuckle. No, big boot. And here comes Jimmy. <clears throat> but no. I think Jimmy might have been looking for an electric chair drop, but Rick with the clothesline. <clears throat> and oh, speaking of clothesline, Jesus. That wasn't a clothesline, that was a lariat, people. Cover. One. No, only a one count. Headbutt to the back of the head. Reversal on the Irish whip. Rick landing on the apron. Back in comes Jay Uso. To the outside we go. And that was a spinning kick to the face. Back and forth we go on the outside. Jay laying in the strikes. Oh my God. Jay is literally punching Rick up the ramp right now. Ref up to a four count, kick to the gut, and Jay DDT on the steel ramp. <coughs> Good God. And the refs now up to a seven count. These two better be careful. <coughs> and Jimmy going back, or Jay going back first on the ramp. Eight. Nine. And, oh, Jay barely beating the 10 count. <laughs> Ooh, what impact. Into the turnbuckle. Jay ducking underneath the grapple of Rick Steiner, chopped to the chest. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm very flimmy right now. Good God, what a back elbow. He's looking incredibly fatigued right now. Irish whip into the turnbuckle goes the dog face gremlin. And Jay, oh no. We see this way too often. Too many people die. Well, rest in peace, Rick Steiner. Superplex to the floor. Poor Rick. And Atlanta apparently loves watching people die. Back elbow, oh, uppercut. And Jay float over DDT, planting Rick. Leaping in comes Scott Steiner. Rick desperately needed that tag. Oh, back elbow and super kick. It might be over. One, two, no. Scott's only been in this match one time and it wasn't for long, so he's still fresh enough to get the shoulder up. And now the Usos double super kick. Scott Steiner needs to do something big here if he wants his team to come out with a victory. Jimmy with the cover one and a kick out by Big Papa Pump. Jimmy trying to fire himself up. Uh oh. Up onto the shoulders, electric chair drop. Rick Steiner back up on the apron. And now Scott is in bad territory. Butterfly suplex on the floor. Shot to the face. Jimmy dragging Scott around this outside area. <clears throat> and the shots to the face as Scott's leaned up against the barricade. Ref up to a four count. Fireman's carry takeover. And Scott now. Oh, looking for the suplex on the floor. Jimmy with the knee. And the shots to the face. Chest first into the steps. And I think the ref's about to be up to an eight count. Elbows to the spine. 
Yes, up to an eight count, and Jimmy's not letting up with these elbows. Nine count. Jimmy in the ring. And Scott gets counted out. Your winners, Jimmy and Jay the Usos. They were bound and determined to pick up the victory no matter how they picked it up. The Usos don't care. The Steiner brothers were just introduced to the Uso yeah, penitentiary. He ain't messing around. Here are your winners, Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso. The Usos. Congratulations to the Usos. They want back their tag team titles. But we are moving on in the evening and up next now don't go anywhere. We've got we Paige going one-on-one on one on one with Ruby Riot. Adversary. We have not seen this. Paige in action in quite a while, but both these women, very talented, very dangerous competitors. Here we go, people. Paige one-on-one on one with Ruby Riot. Making her way to the ring from Norwich, England, Paige. It's time for some mayhem. And her opponent from Lafayette, Indiana, Ruby Riot. Here we go. I think this might possibly be the first time we've seen these two go one on one in universe mode. I'm not sure about that, but if they did go one on one, I don't remember it. But nonetheless, this one should be very, very interesting. As said before, Paige hasn't been in action in quite a while, but she was one of the main women that started the women's revolution. <clears throat> and I did not expect this chain wrestling to start this one out. Paige into the turnbuckle. Oh, Ruby going for that deadly nightshade. Paige with a snap suplex. Oh, going for the kick to the spine. Ruby with the Russian leg sweep putting Paige down. <clears throat> Page with the arm drag. Oh my god. Impactful double axe handle to the skull. Backbreaker. But here comes Riot with a rake of the eyes. And I don't think either of these two uh, mind bending or even breaking the rules to pick up a victory here tonight. Now Ruby the one with the snap suplex. Page into the turnbuckle, forearms to the spine. <clears throat> and Ruby putting Page in the tree of woe and choking the life out of her. Dragging Page to the center of the ring, cover. One, and Page still with plenty left in the tank. Uh-oh. Oh, arm wrench. Irish whip off the ropes. Oh, Riot moving out of the way of the drop kick and Paige just swinging wildly and missing with the clothesline. Double knees to the spine. <clears throat> Elbow to the knee. And Ruby again thinks she's got it one, but no, once again, she is wrong. Page tripping up Riot. Uh-oh. Screaming towards the heavens. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, oh, missing the clothesline here. again. I don't, Paige isn't on her A game tonight. She got dumped to the floor and Riot talking some trash. And here we go to the outside. And right back in we go. Oh, forearm 
to the face. And Paige with the Paige Turner. You gotta like her chances now. She's not going for the cover. Paige wants to end it. Setting Riot up and Rampage. That is just a brutal move. Cover. One, two. Oh. Paige so close to achieving victory here tonight in Hot Atlanta, Georgia. Riot tripping Paige up, and Paige is in perfect position. Riot looking to fly. I thought she might have been looking for that senton. That is not the case. Diving Huracarana cover. One, two. And Paige with yet another kick out. But Riot now setting up for something big. And Riot kick. Hooking the leg, one, two, and Paige with the shoulder up. These two women fighting with everything they have. Paige with a European uppercut. And looking to show off the power, fall away slam, sending Riot damn near all the way across the ring. <clears throat> Page with the clothesline, a second, and the cap kick. Page is ready to go, but Riot so smart, rolling to the outside. Oh, going for the forearm. Page blocking that one, throwing Riot back into the squared circle. Some good technique right there. Picking the leg, but Riot with the Insiguri. Lifting Paige to her feet, into the turnbuckle, and deadly nightshade. What a fucking awesome move that is. And now choking the life out of her. Riot as cocky as ever. And... What do I call this? The Ruby Red Torque! Oh no, Paige fighting back. Forearm shot, kick to the leg. Oh, but Paige with a clothesline. Lifting Riot to her feet. And again, Paige Turner connecting. It's gotta be done. One, two, Three, your winner, Paige. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here is your winner, Paige. Paige picking up the W after a long hiatus. Congratulations to her. We are moving on in the evening. And up next... We have Latino Heat Eddie Guerrero going one on one with the uh, the King of Kings, the Cerebral Assassin, the Game, the Man with a million nicknames, Triple H. Two legendary competitors in the wrestling industry, and they're about to go one on one. Making an entrance only the way Eddie can. Making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas. Weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero!
and his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. Triple H. Guerrero and Triple H ready to go here in week 39. Yes, 39. The bell sounds and we are underway. And look at the size difference right off the bat. Eddie going for a power bomb. And uh, Atlanta, Georgia loves Triple H. And there's the knee drop. But as I was saying, the size difference here. Triple H hands down with the power advantage. Eddie with the quickness. Oh, already getting a one count on Guerrero. Oh, going for a huge shot. Triple H missed the knee. Eddie missing the drop kick. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Maverick, I don't know what is up with your roster tonight. But so far, they've been screwing up pretty hardcore. And Eddie, Northern Lights. Putting Triple H down. But H dodging the kick. Oh, it's just a straight punch to the nose. And now... Oh, Eddie reversing the neck breaker. European uppercut putting Triple H down. And, oh. Forearm to the forehead wrinkles. Neck snap. Eddie with the cover. No, not even a one count. <clears throat> Chop to the chest putting Triple H down. And Eddie locking in the camel clutch. Triple H crawling towards the rope. No. The game with the uh, was able to escape the submission hold. And there's that quickness I was talking about. Don't don't hurt his quads, Eddie, please. Oh, wait a second. Guerrero. Oh, looking for the three amigos. Couldn't get it. And oh, no. Into the pedigree. Dead center of the ring. One, two, no. Latino Heat has more fight left in him. One of the very few men to kick out of that deadly pedigree that has ended not only matches but careers. Triple H wrenching back with the headlock. Eddie willing himself on. Elbows to the midsection. Oh, Triple H with a haymaker. Into the turnbuckle and a huge clothesline. And now just pummeling Latino Heat into the mat. Eddie coming back with the jawbreaker. Oh, spinning heel kick. Lifting Triple H to his feet. DDT planting the game. And once again, neck snap. Picking the leg, but Triple H with a shot to the face. And the game has Guerrero by the back of his neck. Slingshot off the top rope. Oh, elbow, the point of the elbow right into the spine. And Triple H now, uh-oh. Oh, we haven't seen this in a while. This is vintage Triple H with the Indian Deathlock. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Wearing That's down the legs of Guerrero. Take away the legs, you take away the frog splash. And oh, there's the spine buster. One, two, no. Eddie somehow still going. And again, targeting the legs. And Triple H says it's game over for you, Eddie. And once again, pedigree. One, two. What? Must be nice to be able to dial it up when you need to. Guerrero somehow with the fighting spirit. And Eddie gonna try for it again. There's the first one spinning the hips. Two. 
and the three amigos connecting. Guerrero not going for the cover. He is headed straight up to the top. And frog splash. Hooking the leg. One, two, no. Triple H has controlled a majority of this match, so one frog splash was not enough to put the game away. Triple H, no. Oh. Man, Triple H is a, is a brawler, isn't he? And now, lifting Eddie up for the suplex, knee to the head. Clothesline, a second one. Ducking under and Eddie with the pop-up drop kick. Latino Heat is on fire. Lifting Triple H to his feet. And Eddie's looking for six amigos. There's five. Or four. Five. There we go. And six amigos. Eddie going for the cover. One. Two. Oh my god. And Guerrero swears that was a three count. And Guerrero looking for something big. No, Triple H catches the leg. Oh, and the Cerebral Assassin with the... Uh, woo! Figure four. But Eddie able to fight out of it. But there's plenty more work for him to do here. And Guerrero sending Triple H to the floor. Oh, no, Triple H using the power. But Eddie with a shot to the gut, forearm to the face. Back and forth we go on the outside, Triple H misses the knee. And Guerrero rushing leg sweep. Lifting Triple H to his feet, but Eddie getting back body dropped. And he's going for it for the third time. And Triple H with the pedigree. One, two. Oh my God. Must be nice to be able to dial it up when you need to. How it I I don't even know how Guerrero's not dead at this point. Atomic Inverted atomic drop. And Triple H just staring down Guerrero, wondering what he has to do to put Latino Heat away. Kick to the gut. And Triple H with a shin breaker. But Eddie rolling to the outside. Ugh. That's scary, Eddie. You, you don't want to mess with Triple H anymore. Stun gun across the top rope. Lifting Eddie to his feet. And Spine Buster knocking Guerrero out. Your winner. The game. Triple H. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. He's getting it done here. Here is your winner. The game. Triple H. What a match that was, but in the end, it was game over for Eddie Guerrero. We are moving on in the evening. And up next, some words from, from your intercontinental champion, the American Nightmare Cody, who is in his home state of Georgia. what this is about. Can't wait for this one. Let's see what he has to say. When I came into this company, I didn't come here to be your puppet, to be anyone's puppet. I came here to change my own destiny, and I couldn't care less who was in my way or what y'all say. 
I'm about to do just that. Well, okay. You idiots scream and cheer for superstars that aren't even deserving to lace my boots. For some reason, the people in charge listen to what you want regardless of how stupid the decision might be. Well, I've had enough of my fate being determined by you sheep. I'm here to take control of my destiny, and it starts tonight. Whether or not you morons want to admit it, I'm the best thing going in the WWE today. Unlike the other superstars in the back, I don't care what any of you pea brain losers think about me or how to hand, I, how I handle my business. The only thing I'm concerned about is money and titles, and I don't need you people to get that either. You morons will never learn that I don't need you. I'm here to take what I want, and I'm going to do it. I don't care who gets in my way. I don't care who tries to stop me. I'm... I'm a tornado on a path of destruction. Now give me my match. Okay. I don't know what match you're talking about, man. Look, I know you guys will open your eyes and get behind me. You can't be that dumb. And if you are, it's a big mistake because I will haunt your dreams and your life. I swear it. Well, Cody just uh, came back home just to literally insult everyone in the crowd and say he's the best. Okay, American Nightmare. Well, we are moving on to your main event of the evening. We've got the former Million Dollar Champion Goldberg going one-on-one -on -one with the current Million Dollar Champion, the Immortal Hulk Hogan. Get ready, people. Your main event of Raw is War, Week 39, Goldberg versus Hulk Hogan. When you think of the Monday Night Wars, this man here, Goldberg, an integral part. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 270 pounds, Goldberg! And his opponent, from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 305 pounds, the Million Dollar Champion, Hulk Hogan. And here we go, and I completely forgot Goldberg, not only in his home state, but his hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. Will that help him? pick up the victory over the man who took his title and this match is going to be nothing but straight up old school old school slobber knocker and Goldberg with the overhead belly to belly I'm not sure which of these two men are more powerful honestly oh shot to the back of the head of Hogan and Goldberg now with even more power, fall away. Goldberg just chucked a 300 pound man across the ring. But Hogan with a legendary scoop slam. And as per usual for, for Goldberg, huge opportunity to get a victory over the current champion. And for Hogan, does not want to take a loss while he holds the gold. Hogan now lifting Goldberg up and swinging neck breaker. One and Goldberg with the shoulder up. 
but that the whiplash off that neck breaker was crazy. Snapmare and Hogan into the headlock, choking out Goldberg with those pythons. Wrenching back, dealing as much damage as possible, cutting off the airflow. Doesn't matter how uh, strong Goldberg is, if he can't breathe, <laughs> there's nothing he can do. There's a huge elbow straight to the heart. But here comes Goldberg with a European uppercut, clothesline into the turnbuckle. But Hogan right back in control with the clothesline and a stomp straight to the face. Elbow to the spine. And Goldberg has had trouble staying in control of Hogan. Big boot. Cover. One. No, only a one count. And Hogan is in awe. But the Hulkster with the leg drop. That shrunk his spine. One. Two. And Goldberg still in it. But Hogan has been beating the hell out of Goldberg this entire match thus far. It's, it's kind of sad, Goldberg getting destroyed in his hometown. And Hogan again, swinging neck breaker. The whiplash, man. Hogan now, another huge elbow to the heart. Uh, wow, Cole, really? Really? And Hogan now, what the heck? Hogan locking in a bow and arrow? Since when is this a thing? Hogan, your knees can't take that. Goldberg into the cover. Hogan getting out of that immediately. Kick to the gut. Going for that scoop slam again, but Goldberg with a neck breaker. Lifting Hogan to his feet. Hand around the throat, Goldberg with the power, military press, spine buster. Uh-oh, and he's looking for it. He's so close though. It doesn't matter, spear cutting Hogan in half. And Goldberg knows one spear isn't gonna put Hogan away. And Hogan up. And down with a jackhammer. One, two, oh. Goldberg almost picking up the victory. Uh-oh. Goldberg's getting fired up. Oh my God, deadlifting a 300 pound man for a power bomb. Goldberg's a freak of nature. Clothesline. Ducking under the clothesline from Hogan. Oh, back body drop. And lifting Hogan up for the spine buster. And oh, spear out of nowhere. One, two, no. How? Power bomb, Cole, really, that was... Something's wrong with this game right now. I don't know what it is. And I don't know what to call this. Oh my goodness, this I don't know, but Goldberg setting up for it one more time. This could be Has him hooked up. No! Hogan able to reverse it. And now Hogan lifting Goldberg up. Beautiful suplex by Hogan. And Hulk with the leg drop, knocking Goldberg out. Your winner, the million dollar champion, Hulk Hogan. Here is your winner, Hulk Hogan. Congratulations to the Hulkster, showing just why he is the million dollar champion. I'm not sure what match of the night was. It was either Triple H and Eddie or this one. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. Hogan and Goldberg is my match of the night. Be sure to let me know what your match of the night was in the comments below.
Remember guys, if you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Brandon Brandy Bear for both. That would be greatly appreciated. I'm stuttering. And as always, thank you guys for joining me here for Raw is War Week 39. And goodbye from Atlanta, Georgia.